So if z is the score minus the mean over the standard deviation, what happens if we want to solve for an x score when we've been given a standard deviation? Well, we can rearrange our equation and we can see, okay, well, we can do sigma z equals x minus mu. And then we want to isolate to solve for x. So we're going to add, so we're going to do sigma z plus mu equals x. And so here we can quickly have an equation that allows us to solve for an original x score from a standardized distribution. So if we have a distribution here with a mean of 100 and a standard deviation of 10, we can impute this information knowing the z score to quickly find x. So if z here equals 2, we can impute this and solve for x. So here we would have 10 times 2 plus 100 equals x, which is going to be 120. And so you hopefully can also see without doing that math that if one standard deviation is 10 and we are two standard deviations above the mean, well, we just have to go 20 up from here, which is 120. And this is how we can get an x score from a z.